President Obama, I am withholding judgment with respect to how the entire process surrounding General Petrius came up. We don't have all the information yet. But I want to say that I have a lot of confidence generally in the FBI, and they've got a difficult job. And so I'm going to wait and see to see if there's any other. Question, that you should have known? Do you think in hindsight? President Obama, well, I mean, Chuck, what I'll say is, is that if it is also possible that had we been told, then you'd be sitting here asking a question about why were you interfering in a criminal investigation. So I think it's best right now for us to just see how this whole process unfolded. With respect to the tax rates, I just want to emphasize I am open to new ideas. If Republican counterparts or some Democrats have a great idea for us to raise revenue. Maintain progressivity, make sure the middle class isn't getting hit, reduces our deficit, encourages growth. I'm not going to just slam the door in their face. I want to hear ideas from everybody. Question, Red Line President Obama, look, I believe this is solvable. I think that fair-minded people can come to an agreement that does not cause the economy to go back into recession. that protects middle-class families. That focuses on jobs and growth, and reduces our deficit. I'm confident it can be done. My budget, frankly, does it.
I understand that I don't expect the Republicans simply to adopt my budget. That's not realistic. So I recognize that we're going to have to compromise. And as I said on election night, compromise is hard. And not everybody gets 100% of what they want and not everybody is going to be perfectly happy. But what I will not do is to have a process that is vague, that says we're going to sort of, kind of, raise revenue through dynamic scoring or closing loopholes that have not been identified. And the reason I won't do that is because I don't want to find ourselves in a position six months from now or a year from now where Lo and behold, the only way to close the deficit is to sock it to middle class families. Or to burden families that have disabled kids or have a parent in a nursing home. Or suddenly we've got to cut more out of our basic research budget that is the key to growing the economy in the long term. So that's my concern. I'm less concerned about red lines, per se. What I'm concerned about is not finding ourselves in a situation where the wealthy aren't paying more or aren't paying as much as they should. Middle class families one way or another are making up the difference that's the kind of status quo that has been going on here too long. And that's exactly what I argued against during this campaign. And if there's one thing that I'm pretty confident about is the American people understood what they were getting when they gave me this incredible privilege of being in office for another four years. They want compromise. They want action but they also want to make sure that middle-class folks aren't.
bearing the entire burden and sacrifice when it comes to some of these big challenges. They expect that folks at the top are doing their fair share as well. And that's going to be my guiding principle during these negotiations. But, more importantly, during the next four years of my administration. Nancy Cordes Question, MR President, on election night, you said that you were looking forward to speaking with Governor Romney. Sitting down in the coming weeks to discuss ways that you could work together on this nation's problems. Have you extended that invitation? Has he accepted? And in what ways do you think you can work together? President Obama, we haven't scheduled something yet. I think everybody forgets that the election was only a week ago and I know I've forgotten. I forgot on Wednesday. So I think everybody needs to catch their breath. I'm sure that Governor Romney is spending some time with his family. And my hope is, before the end of the year, though, that we have a chance to sit down and talk. There are certain aspects of Governor Romney's record and his ideas that I think could be very helpful. Question, such as? President Obama, well, to give you one example, I do think he did a terrific job running the Olympics. And that skill set of trying to figure out how do we make Something work better applies to the federal government. There are a lot of ideas that I don't think are partisan ideas but are just smart ideas.
about how can we make the federal government more customer friendly. How can we make sure that we're consolidating programs that are duplicative, how can we eliminate additional waste? He presented some ideas during the course of the campaign that I actually agree with. So it would be interesting to talk to him about something like that. There may be ideas that he has with respect to jobs and growth that can help middle class families that I want to hear. So I'm not either prejudging what he's interested in doing, nor am I suggesting I've got some specific assignment. But what I want to do is to get ideas from him and see if There are some ways that we can potentially work together. Question President Obama, look, I think there's no doubt that I can always do better. And so I will examine ways that I can make sure to communicate my desire to work with everybody. So long as it's advancing the cause of strengthening our middle class and improving our economy. I've got a lot of good relationships with folks both in the House and the Senate. I have a lot of relationships on both sides of the aisle. It hasn't always manifested itself in the kind of agreements. That I'd like to see between Democrats and Republicans. And so I think all of us have responsibilities to see if there are things that we can improve on. And I don't exempt myself from needing to do some. Self-reflection and see if I can improve our working relationship. There are probably going to be still some very sharp differences.
and as I said during the campaign, there are going to be times where there are fights. And I think those are fights that need to be had. But what I think the American people don't want to see is a focus on the next election instead of a focus on them. And I don't have another election. And Michelle and I were talking last night about what an incredible honor and privilege it is to be put in this position. And there are people all across this country, millions of folks, who work so hard to help us get elected. But there are also millions of people who may not have voted for us but are also counting on us. And we take that responsibility very seriously. I take that responsibility very seriously. And I hope and intend to be an even better president in the second term than I was in the first. Jonathan Carl Question President Obama, well, first of all, I'm not going to comment at this point on various nominations that I'll put forward to fill out my cabinet for the second term. Those are things that are still being discussed. But let me say specifically about Susan Rice, she has done exemplary work. She has represented the United States and our interests in the United Nations with skill and professionalism and toughness and grace. As I've said before, she made an appearance at the request of the White House in which She gave her best understanding of the intelligence that had been provided to her.
If Senator McCain and Senator Graham and others want to go after somebody, they should go after me. And I'm happy to have that discussion with them. But for them to go after the UN ambassador. Who had nothing to do with Benghazi, and was simply making a presentation based. on intelligence that she had received, and to besmirch her reputation is outrageous. And we're after an election now. I think it is important for us to find out exactly what happened in Benghazi. And I'm happy to cooperate in any ways that Congress wants. We have provided every bit of information that we have, and we will continue to provide information. And we've got a full-blown investigation, and all that information will be disgorged to Congress. And I don't think there's any debate in this country that when you have four Americans killed, that's a problem. And we've got to get to the bottom of it, and there needs to be accountability. We've got to bring those who carried it out to justice. They won't get any debate from me on that. But when they go after the U. an ambassador, apparently because they think she's an easy target, then they've got a problem with me. And should I choose, if I think that she would be the best person to serve? America in the capacity of the State Department, then I will nominate her. That's not a determination that I've made yet. Ed Henry Question.